City. Police responded to a call of a gorilla being attacked by a banana. Not something you hear every day, but Melissa Reed joins us with more to explain. Uh, yeah, you can't make this stuff up. Well, someone dressed as a banana attacked a gorilla mascot in Strongsville. And while there are some that might think this story is a bit silly, the gorilla did not find the banana too appealing. Strongsville Police and Fire. Hi, uh, my name is Brandon. Um, some kid in a banana costume just tackled my mascot. There is a banana uh, at large in Strongsville. Is your uh, mascot okay? The kid just came up and like this beard and... Brandon Parham is the manager of the Wireless Center on Pearl Road. Last week he witnessed their mascot, a gorilla, getting jumped. A kid just emerged out of the bushes, out of nowhere, in a banana costume and started sprinting as quickly as he possibly could at our gorilla. Certainly an unappealing attack on the ape. The kid in mid-air flying like this, like something like a Spartan from 300, kind of, except he was a banana. After the attack, the banana then split and headed south on Pearl Road, and he wasn't alone. He just kept running with a few other kids, and the gorilla just got back up and adjusted his head and just kept waving his sign around. Okay, we'll send somebody down to check around south of your store for a kid dressed in a banana costume. The gorilla will recover. As for the wireless center, they think the whole situation is... Bizarre, I guess. Not normal of the food chain. I mean, that's not really how it works, right? The gorilla should have won. Starnsville police say the search is not on for that banana. They think it was just a high school prank. Bill and Stacy. Did you see that?